Simone Biles, one of the world's most renowned and well-known elite gymnasts, has recently come out and revealed she has been struggling with her mental health. Biles has decided to depart the Tokyo Olympics early and head home voluntarily. This surprised many people and obviously many fans and Americans are upset that one of the best athletes in the world has dropped out of the running for the gold medal. However, many have been sticking with Biles and showing their support including various athletes who are currently competing in the Olympics themselves. In today's video, we're going to delve into everything you need to know about Simone Biles mental health concerns and what will be next for the amazing athlete. But before we get into the video, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe to the channel with notifications on so you don't miss any of the new videos we post. Simone Biles Mental Health Concerns Simone Biles, a four-time Olympic gold medalist, has withdrawn from the women's gymnastics team final, shocking fans across the world. Simone's performance on the vault was visibly shaky, but she came off the floor poised and composed to embrace her colleagues on the sidelines. The gymnast's withdrawal was reported by USA Gymnastics a short time afterwards. Biles' withdrawal means she will no longer be able to achieve her goal of six gold medals. She ultimately decided to withdraw from the Tokyo Olympics after struggling to land a vault. She opened up to NBC after her decision claiming that she is perfectly fine physically, but she is suffering emotionally. Physically, I feel good, she told Hoda Kotob in an exclusive interview after her withdrawal. Emotionally, it varies on the time and moment. Coming to the Olympics and being a head star isn't an easy feat. No, no injury, thankfully, she said, and that's why I took a step back because I didn't want to do something silly out there and get injured. She continued, I'm okay, just super frustrated, but super proud of these girls, and now we're silver medalists, Biles said. Something we'll cherish forever. We hope Hope America still loves us. She stated that she felt it was better if her teammates took over, which they did, winning the silver medal in the competition. Bao said she was undecided about competing in individual events like the individual all-around competition. She informed Kutub that she would handle things one day at a time. Simone Biles confessed that she withdrew from the team gymnastics final at the Tokyo Olympics due to mental health problems, saying, I simply didn't want to go on. Her departure was first attributed to a medical issue by U.S. team management. Biles, who won four golds and a bronze in Rio, told reporters, After the performance I put on, I really didn't want to continue on. When asked more about her mental health and how she feels about everything she stated, I have to focus on my mental health. I just think mental health is more prevalent in sports right now. We have to protect our minds and our bodies and not just go out and do what the world wants us to do. I don't trust myself as much anymore. Maybe it's getting older. There were a couple of days when everybody tweets to you and you feel the weight of the world, Biles continued. We're not just athletes, we're people at the end of the day, and sometimes you just have to step back. What's next for Simone? One of the great questions after American Simone Biles' stunning withdrawal from the women's gymnastics team's final was whether the six-time Olympic champion will compete in the individual all-around final on Thursday. Later in the games, she qualified for all four event finals. It remains to be seen if she will be given that chance. USA Gymnastics said on Tuesday that due to a medical problem, Simone Biles has withdrawn from the team final competition. She will be evaluated on a daily basis to determine whether she is medically cleared for future competitions. When reporters asked if she would still be competing in the all-around on Thursday, Biles replied she hoped to. However, it appears as though the gymnast may not continue in the Olympics. For many, this probably seems like an insane decision as she is clearly so extremely talented and she would for sure have won gold at the Olympics, probably multiple times. But with all this said, if Simone is really struggling with her mental health, then a place so stressful and tense like the Olympics would be the worst place for her to be. She has had so many intense traumatic moments happen over her career as a gymnast, so we can only imagine how she is feeling right now. Following Biles' elimination from the competition, Twitter was flooded with good wishes and affirmations that she will go down in history as the greatest gymnast of all time, regardless of what happens at the 2021 Olympics. Adam Rippon, an American former figure skater who competed regularly in the Winter Olympics, the former professional ice skater wrote on social media, I can't imagine the pressure Simone has been feeling, sending her so much love. It's easy to forget, but she is still human. We love you. Following this, fellow elite Olympic gymnast Ali Raisman, along with plenty others from the Olympic gymnastics team, shared their love and utmost support for Simone. Ali shared to Twitter, writing, Love you, Simone Biles. Next up, Pat McAfee, who is a well-known sports analyst, shared to Twitter, Dear Simone Biles, although I'm just a very dumb sports stooge, I feel obligated to remind you, you're the greatest of all time. 
Ain't nothing that happens in Tokyo can change that. Your effort, commitment, and unbelievable talent have been a gift to us fans. As you can tell, everyone is beyond support of Simone, who seems to be very much struggling with her mental health, which is definitely no joke. Hoda Kotob, who is an American Egyptian broadcast journalist, TV personality, and author, also shared her support for Biles on Twitter, writing, Someone said it best. Simone Biles already won. She is a class act. Withdrew from team competition after Vault? stayed and cheered on her teammates, got them chalk for their hands, encouraged and hugged them, she already won. Congrats on the silver medal Team USA. Situations that most likely contributed to Simone Biles' mental health state. Yurchenko double pike. Simone Biles, the most decorated gymnast in history, became the first woman to accomplish the ultra-dangerous Yurchenko double pike in competition just recently in May 2021 at the US Classic. It's a masterpiece of a move, with Biles having to launch off the vaulting table with a round-off back handspring into two flips in a pike position. Most gymnasts won't even dare to practice it. You'd think Biles' accomplishment would be reason for celebration. Nope, the judges gave her a 6.6, which was way too low, given the difficulty of the maneuver by any measure of everyone watching who wasn't a judge that night. I feel like now we just have to get what we get because there's no point in putting up a fight because they're not going to reward it, Biles told the New York Times. So we just have to take it and be quiet. Gymnasts are judged using a scoring system that takes into account the difficulty of the movements they accomplish. The Yurchenko double pike has a low starting score, which some believe is intended to deter gymnasts from attempting the risky exercise or to prevent a goat like Biles from winning gold. Or you could do both. It's not just a pity that we may never see an all-time great athlete honored for something that may never be done in competition again, but it's also the latest indicator that the Tokyo Summer Olympics will not treat its athletes fairly. Biles continued stating, They're both too low and they even know it. Biles added of her scores in the Times interview, but they don't want the field to be too far apart, and that's just something that's on them. That's not on me. This situation could definitely be a contributor to her current mental health. It appears over the past few years, Simone Biles has been punished indirectly, but so obviously because she is on an entirely new level to her competitors. She has consistently been able to pull off moves and skills that no one else in the history of gymnastics has ever been able to achieve. We can only only imagine this took a toll on Simone. USA Gymnastics Abuse of Competitors The national governing body for gymnastics in the United States is the United States of America Gymnastics. The United States Gymnastics Federation was founded in 1963. The United States Gymnastics Association is in charge of choosing and training national teams for the Olympic Games and World Championships. USA Gymnastics' objective is to promote gymnastics participation and excellence in all facets of the sport. Its artistic program, which includes the events vault, uneven bars, balance beam, and floor exercise has grown in popularity as a result of multiple nationally broadcast contests held each year. Floor exercise, pommel horse, still rings, vault, parallel bars, and horizontal bar are among the events in the men's artistic program. Larry Nasser, the national team doctor for four Olympic cycles, pleaded guilty in 2018 to sexually abusing more than 300 female athletes, including Olympic gold medalists Ali Raisman and Jordan Weber. The United States Olympic Committee vowed to decertify USA Gymnastics unless the whole board resigned following his punishment. On January 26, the USA Gymnastics obliged, and all 21 board members resigned. Michaela Maroney, an Olympic medalist, has filed a lawsuit alleging that USA Gymnastics paid her to remain silent about Nasser's abuse. Gymnasts have demanded that those who shielded Nasser, such as the USOC and USA Gymnastics, be held accountable. As you can imagine, for all the girls involved and those who witnessed these kinds of traumatic events, including Simone Biles, this was a very hard, scary time that most likely took a huge toll on all the girls' mental health. And there you have it, Simone Biles and everything you need to know about her recent news and her current mental health status. We feel for Simone and wish her nothing but the best, and we hope her mental health can heal and get better over time. If you enjoyed today's video, don't forget to like and subscribe so you never miss any of our new and upcoming content. Thanks for watching.